Occupation Health and Safety Management System Successful health and safety management can only be achieved with commitment from all levels of the organization. A structured and planned approach must be adopted and implemented. Safety must be regarded as a prime responsibility of all levels of management and not just of those with specific responsibilities given in this document. A good health and safety management system will contain the following elements. Occupation health and safety management system is split into each of the five key elements. Following are those key elements. The first key point is policy. It is regarding continuous improvement in all aspects of health, safety and welfare, and complying with legal requirements. The next key point is organization. This section shows the structure and arrangements in place to ensure the policy can be delivered. To ensure that a positive safety culture is adopted will require that all staff understand their responsibilities and are motivated and empowered to work safely. Next the key point in occupation health and safety management system is planning. This section will detail how to implement the safety policy. By planning, where there is a need for action to be taken, will enable us to prioritize our needs and focus resources. The next key point in OHSMS is measuring performance. Measuring health and safety performance against predetermined standards will enable the identification of areas requiring improvement. And the final section is audit and review. To improve safety performance, there requires a systematic review. Performance should be assessed against safety objectives, performance indicators and strategy. The key characteristics of a successful occupation health safety management system are A positive health and safety culture. Next characteristic is the involvement of all stakeholders. An effective audit. Next final point. Continual improvement. The principal benefits to a good health and safety management system are It is much easier to achieve and demonstrate legal compliance. It ensures that health and safety is given the same emphasis as other business objectives. It enables significant health and safety risks to be addressed in a systematic way. It illustrates that there is a genuine commitment to health and safety throughout the organization.